Father God in heaven, as we stand here in Arizona at this beautiful venue, we can't help but to praise you for your creation. God, Jeremiah 1.5, you say, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. You created Bryce and Kennedy. Before they were formed, and you knew them in their innermost workings of their heart. Having all this knowledge, and all knowledge, God, bless this day. Bless this day, Bryce and Kennedy and this union. Bless all of those here that bear witness. Bless the very air that surrounds us, that it in and of itself will praise you for this occasion. We love you. We thank you. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. I hear you laughing And I see you smile You know that you're my everything Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you for being here at the union of these two beautiful souls, Bryce and Kennedy. Well guys, you made it. The day's here. Take a look at all these wonderful people out in the crowd who showed up for you today. Soak it all in. It's an image that should stick with you because uh, today will go faster than you'll ever imagine. <laughs> how Bryce and Kennedy, uh, how they met was uh, what we call the old fashioned way. Out dancing at Whiskey Row. They locked eyes. Bryce asked her to dance and Kennedy looked up at this tall drink of water and said to herself, well, I guess this is it. And Bryce to himself said, Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> and they knew they were into each other ever since. Neither even officially asked each other out. They just knew. When I got your Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Kennedy, I loved you through it all and will continue to. But I'm so happy you have found somebody else to love you. You have created such a special life with Bryce, Millie, and Milo. Um, and I'm so excited so excited to see what you guys do together. Bryce, thank you for loving my favorite human, for being so kind, supportive, and loving, and for protecting her when we're away. You are such a hardworking, goal-driven individual who brings out the best in my baby sister. I am so happy you are joining our family and look forward to so many adventures with you. When I got you it's not high neck, like I said. It's not, yeah, all the false things you told me about it. I've been counting down to this day since the night your bright blue eyes and brilliant smile were first looking back at me as you stepped all over my feet on the dance floor <laughs> and later told Mary to go tell that boy to come back over here. <laughs> Even after you FaceTimed me that same night while haphazardly chomping on a piece of pizza, I was smitten by the displays of grace and physical prowess that I remember telling the guys the next day that I'd met the girl I was going to marry. Kennedy, I love you so much. As your husband, I promise to be the man you inspired me to be and the man you deserve. I promise to keep our house filled with love and laughter as often as you can tolerate my corny jokes and at times overzealous affection. <laughs> Lastly, I promise to love you unconditionally, even when you buy a year's supply of single ply toilet paper accidentally at Costco. <laughs> Before God and all of our friends and family present, I promise all of these things and more for as long as I shall live. Bryce, as cliche as it might sound, you came into my life when I was least expecting you to. Since the day you walked into my life, it's been more fulfilling, my smile has been bigger, and my heart has been more full. I promise to love you for who you are 
and for who you are yet to become. I promise you all of my silliness and that laughter will be the commonplace in our household. I promise to celebrate with you when the Cardinals win and blame Cliff Kingsbury for everything when they lose. I promise to continue to learn from you and to follow the examples of patience and respect that you continuously set. I promise to always sing karaoke with you and spend time at dive bars with you. I promise to walk with you hand in hand through life as your biggest fan, your shoulder to lean on, and your best friend. I promise to love you without hesitation or boundaries from this day forward for the rest of my life. I love you. By the power vested in me, by the state of Arizona, and the Universal Life Church on the internet, I pronounce you husband and wife. Seal this deal with a kiss, please. She's southern cold, and she